hold on, I'm going to put on my glasses because it makes me look smarter. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they say about well, looks, they can be deceiving. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing just fine. Good. Your holidays are fine? Everything's fine. Good. I'm sure it is with you, too. It is. It is. Good. I can start it off. You, you, your focus is you're praying ceaselessly. So you want to expound? Do, do, doesn't that grab you? It does. See, it, 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 your focus, whatever you're focused on, you're praying about it. Whatever you're thinking about, what you're focused on, you're praying that. Every word. You're praying that. I, I I understand how strange it may sound at first, but it, it, if you'll think about it for a while, you'll start thinking from it. And thinking from it is the secret, is the thing itself. So you're on all the time. Why not aim? Why not direct your inner self-talk? Because you're talking to yourself all day. You're talking to yourself while I'm talking to you. So... There you are. You, you're you're always paying attention to something, but that's what has your life. You understand? Well, if for a minute or an hour or a day or whatever has your attention, that's where you're going. You're maneuvering according to your attention. Are you maneuvering good or bad? You, you know, well, you're not going to fall off the end of the earth, but but you do have you, you do have to watch where you're going. And when I say watch where you're going, I'm I'm talking about you're hearing a lot from the outside world. And some of it is okay and most of it isn't. But you're getting your message from the outside world. Now, it is your responsibility to guard the gate. And this, this is the well. We got two gates, front and the mirror. <laughs> but but look, it, it, it's your responsibility to guard the gates. And what I mean by guarding the gates, so you hear something, think about it for a moment. Okay, let it go by. Are oh, you thinking about? It? You go no, I don't want that. Let it go. See, but you have to do that. You have to. You have to feel that thought that no, I don't want that. I want this. And then focus on this. Because then you're praying that you're getting that. And that's the way it works. I am that. That's the claim everybody's making every time they open their mouth. I am that. What? 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 What are you thinking about? What are you feeling? See, we, we, were, we were given the original gifts, which was mind and speech. And and you're talking the word, and God is the word. So you are talking to God consciously or unconsciously, but you are talking to God. What are you saying? See, that, that's, what you, that, that's what you want to be careful. What are you saying? You know, you're told when you pray, believe you receive that which for what you're asking. I mean, I mean, how uh, well, simple do you want it? I, I, I can't think of a. Uh, can you think of something simpler than that? You can't get it any simpler than that. So I absolutely agree. You know, you said something earlier. You know, you said uh, you were talking about our inner conversations. Many people in the community have a problem with affirmations, but what they don't realize is that we're always affirming something, morning, noon, and night. That's right. That's right. That's absolutely right. They're on all the time. And if you don't understand that you're on all the time, sit and think about it for a while. In other words, remember every word. See, every word must be accounted for. In other words, you're subject to that, whatever you're thinking and feeling. But what is it? Have you chosen or 
it is your environment choosing for you. Somebody's telling you what to do because you're doing something. Absolutely. Did you choose it or is someone else ordering you? That's all there is to it. You're either choosing or you're being chosen for. And that being chosen for, you know, it, 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 it might be all right for survival and, and a little social gathering, I guess, but it's as you think you are. So be careful where you're getting your thoughts from. Because thoughts are things. Look around you. Everything right here is a thought that some, in somebody's mind. And, and now here it is, a manifestation. Well, I'm telling you the same thing. If you want something, see it in your imagination. Feel it. Touch it. Use it in imagination. And do so consistently, persistently, and you will have changed your mind and changed your world. It's that simple, isn't it? It is that simple, but in saying it, it sounds so simple to be true because that's what we're doing every day. And we don't want to believe that we're creating by way of our thoughts, words, and actions. You know, you don't, you don't want to say, well, uh, I'm proud I'm in this situation. No, no, of course not. You know, but the thing of it is, you're given to change it. Change your mind. Change your world. It's as simple as that. And, 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 and although I usually say, think only on things lovely and a good report. Well, I, we, I have to drop the only because, you know, the, see, if, if God said it that way, then it would, it would be a command. And then you would be commanded to think only on things that are lovely and a good report. Of course, that, to me, that would be a good idea <laughs> because I haven't achieved it yet. I, you know, I have good spots. I have long runs sometimes, but I still get, I, I still get tagged by the world around me, and, and I start drifting in 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 the path that 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 this outside world is setting up for me. But you look, you're always setting yourself up or setting yourself free. Can't you tell the difference? <laughs> you, you'd think they would, wouldn't you? You would, you would, but apparently it's not always obvious to many folks because, of course, they see they want to be free, but they feel like they're in bondage. Yeah, you know. I went to the party next door mm -hmm. yesterday, and uh, there was see, two, four, six, twelve. There were there were twelve people sitting around the table. And uh, the conversations were, I, I, I finally had to say, I, 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 think, I think I have enough for that. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. Here's a Christmas party. And the people are talking about their aches, their pains, getting shots, getting this taken care of and he's taking care of me because I'm doing this and that. Who, who cares? Who, who really cares? I mean, they may go, oh, but, you know, but then all they're doing is, is that they're just giving you permission to be that way. Come on, man, wake up. I'm telling you, even a little bit, even a little bit more awake, a little more aware, can change your whole your whole lifestyle. Okay. Is that true? It is true. You know, you were talking about this Christmas party, and I find the same thing online. You know, I'll put out a post maybe by like Reverend Ike or somebody, and people will say that it's devilish or demonic. And I'm like, so him telling you that you can have a more abundant life it's devilish and it's demonic. Who sold you on that story? And that's the truth. Somebody sold them on that story. Surely they sold themselves. <laughs> true. They, they, no, that's true. They it's sold true. themselves. They they have to it when they agreed with it, they sold themselves yeah. to that. Yeah. You're making that real in your life of everydayness. Yeah. 
And and it, it could be everydayness too, because people sit and worry all the time. Yeah. And they, they think that's just falling into the past and they'll get up the next day. But it it, it stays right with you. Yeah. You, you. You have to actually dismiss it. That's it. You know, when the captain comes in the room and he wants to talk to somebody, just looks around a little bit and that's all he has to do. And everybody just disappears. Say, well, you have to do that. I, I mean, after all, someone says, well, yeah, but that that's that's a, things for the only begotten to do. Yeah, that's who you are. And only begotten. Yeah. I mean... Oh, no, no, I know Jesus is the only begotten, but so are you. There's not another one like you. Yeah. So you're an only begotten. <laughs> I can still see, I, I, I can still see the, 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 the first couple of rows of people there, their expressions when I tell them that. You know, like, and then they're trying to, kind of look and see what the others do, thinking about. <laughs> hey, you're on all the time. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> what I'm saying when you're telling you you're on, I'm telling you that every word is creative. Every word is taken in. Look around you. Look around you. Words are things. Here, here they are. And where'd they come from? Out of the mind of man. But God told you, choose this day. Guy chose a coffee cup. Another guy chose a reporter. Another guy charged a microphone. I mean, and a TV or, or a computer. Come on. Someone had to dream it up. I mean, if you were waiting for me to make an automobile, you'd still be hoofing it. <laughs> I know how they work, but that was long, long after someone already made them up. Yeah. No, all I did is find the little things for improvement. But that's what you do. You you, you look at your world and you find things that are, that are in improvement. And you say, oh, that would be nice if I if I had it. And then I wouldn't have to do this and this and because that will do it for me. Fine, I'll have one of those. That's all there is to it. That's all he's asked you to do, choose this day. And you are doing so. Doing what? See, that's the question. What? 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 What is it that you're looking for? Because that's what's looking for you. Now, that can be exciting or it can be frightening. And most of the time when most people, what they're thinking, they really don't want to see the evidence of what they're making. And when they do, they'll completely deny, oh, not, not me, somebody else. But you see, you can't get away with that for long. But actually, you can get away with it time slot after time slot after time <laughs> slot but if you don't change your mind. But that's all you're asked to do. People are doing all kinds of things, uh, ceremonies and and get-togethers and sing songs and everything. It's all wonderful. But it's not the creativeness you're looking for. See, that's just things. And and e even things you like, you can get tired of. But you see, what we're telling you is you won't get tired of this because it's a claiming of your inheritance which already is completed because creation's finished. God put the finish mark on it. But you're drawing from the finished product because it's already there. The moment you thought about it, it came into being. But you have to be persistent and consistent in your in your claiming. You see, because if if we don't keep it simple, you you, you tend to forget it. Or oh, you remember it time and time again, but then is that when when it's necessary that you know about it? <laughs> see, in other words, you're on the spot. The 
Are you lifted up or let down? See, it's always up to you. Yeah, I mean, I mean, De Carlo and I are sitting here t- just telling you what we have experienced, and and you don't have to believe us. All you have to do is check it out. Absolutely. And I and and I give you enough information tonight to check it out for the next ten years. Yeah. And when and it's not coming from me; it's coming through me. But your world is coming through you also. Not to you. It, it appear, yeah, if you judge by appearances, yeah, it seems that it's coming to you. But we're told not to judge by appearances, because see, if you if you judge by then you miss it. You miss it that you're the ones doing it. That's what you miss, and that's you denying yourself. And we're told all denial is self denial. So there you go. Look, if you're gonna play, play a nice game. That's all. Play a nice game. Well, not one where you have to beat somebody else to death to prove yourself to what? Uh, Being a murderer? I mean, come on. Attitude awareness and imaginational control are just for that. Oh, and that's what everyone's looking for, control. And the control they want first is how to cause desired change. And we've told you that over and over and over. And you... And that's the reason why I'm telling you get a, a cassette or a CD or something that you can remind yourself every day, every day. You have to do it every day for a while, but after a while, it'll it'll start to become your nature, and then it it's on automatic. You're on automatic then. Choose this day, and it's on automatic. That's awesome, isn't it? It is awesome. You made me think about somebody. I had to put a post on one of the different channels, and I said, doesn't the Bible say that you are God? And the person that I was speaking to said, the Bible doesn't say anything. He said, well, he says God didn't say anything, and he didn't use the word anything. He used the word S-H, blah, blah, blah. And he said, man said that, and I said, you got it. I said, the mouth of man is the mind of God. I said, you got it. I said, now you don't realize because he's trying to be sarcastic, but God uses the vehicle of people to get across his message. That's all it is. And it's a simple message. I mean, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. It's everybody. Every child born a woman. And you say, well, how about all the babies that don't even make it? Uh, they make it. Nothing dies. There's nothing transforming in, in death. You, 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 like I say, you die a ding-dong, you get to play ding-dong again. <laughs> and again and again. How long, oh, Lord, how long? And he's going, well, you know, whenever you get it. See, he gave it to them, but did they get it? He gave it to them again, but how did they get it? They they might walk away really lifted, but what about by the time they get home? You see, it starts going downhill because you're focusing now on, on what's happening at the moment, whereas what you already heard is perfect. I had a half a dozen of Neville's tapes, and I listened to them at least one every night for years before it actually touched base. I began thinking differently the importance of having a CD because what has your focus has your life. Think about it. We're not asking you to join anything. But you have to have the CDs. You have to have the DVDs. You have to listen to them. It's you training this. Listen, listen, listen. But as Mr. Lindell stated, you have to listen to them repeatedly. And again, for those who are interested, click the link below and it will take you to the four CD set. And you'll be able to transform not only your mind, but your world.